We are now ready to move to the Python exercise. Here we advance to the next page and go into edit mode. And again, click the settings icon to define the page layout. In this exercise, we only need two panes, one for the Python editor and one for the guide. I'm going to show the tree just from the Python directory. I'm also going to close all the tabs when the user enters this section. On the left side, I want to have my Python file open in the editor, and on the right hand side, we'll have the guide. For this exercise, I'm going to incorporate a code test that will automatically check the student's code. To do this, I go into edit mode and click the assessment icon and choose standard code test. I give this code test a name. I put the instructions. And this is where I put in the command that is equivalent to what you would execute on Linux command line. Here we have a number of different options for the input. In this case, we're going to have a case insensitive, ignore white space. And this is where we put the output that we are expecting. We create it, see how it looks. Now let's test this out. As you can see, it knows that we're working with Python and will format appropriately. Now let's test it out. As you see, we got this correct. We change it, do it incorrectly. It'll tell us it failed. So we know our code assessment is working. Now let's construct our final exercise in Java. We're going to add a bit more complexity to the exercise by outputting the addition of two inputted integers after the hello world string. To the student, they just need to get the formulas correct for output without knowing what the two integers are. We start by advancing to the next page. Again, define the page layout in guide edit mode. Going back into guide edit mode, we're going to add the assessment standard code test. Here we have the added command line pre-exec command for compiling the Java code first. Then the executable command. Below, we can assign random inputted integers with the expected output to test against the student's code. Let's add a couple other ones. Now we're all set. To write the code and test it out. Okay, now let's give this a try. So we've written the code correctly. You can see here, we 
we make a mistake in it, it will fail. And that's it for setting up your first exercise in outputting Hello World in HTML, Python, and Java.